Hey, hi, hello. Um, here we go. This is a new video and it's going to be something kind of pretty different and I think very cool. I, I'm having this uh, a lathe cut vinyl pressing done and um, I thought this would maybe be like the coolest thing I could possibly document on the channel ever. Um, I've, I've always wanted to do a vinyl release. There's no way I could afford or um, it would ever, I, I, it just wouldn't make sense to do an actual vinyl release of like 200 copies minimum or something for me. Um, I just don't want that much stuff in my basement. Um, here's Baxter. Oh my God, it's eyeballs. Okay, so, okay, so let's go back 2020. Everything has changed since our last play. I was doing a live stream, as a lot of people were. It was for a Weird Smells zine, and I had the idea, because it was kind of an awkward time, um, that I would record it myself and um, put that up on YouTube and Bandcamp and stuff. And the songs were the 2019 Red Pants album, Distortion and Snow. Uh, all in a row, the exact album. Just me and the acoustic guitar. This past December, I got, I think it was December, I don't know, it was last year. At the end of the year, maybe. Um, anyway, I get this nice message from my friend James, who does uh, ambient bass looping work um, under the name Jumper Kemmons, and he's also done a couple videos for me, music videos on the channel. And uh, just super all around, amazingly nice human being. I can't say enough nice things about him. Okay, so he sends me this, um, this just sort of beautiful message about like how much this album had meant to him and you know he just sort of said something about well like if I could ever have it on vinyl that'd be great. A, long, a while back on the other record labels podcast if you haven't checked it out and you want to run a record label I recommend it um, and it's hosted by Scott Orr who also does his own music. He has his own record label. My children are yelling in the background. We're focused. We're gonna get this done. So he had Robin from Red Spade Records, which is a short run, lathe cut, um, you know, final production human being um, extraordinaire. So he had her on on the uh, the podcast, and she was I don't know. She had a really cool story backstory for getting into this, and great episode. And I always thought, like, man, you know, maybe someday I'm, you know, I'm probably not going to get a record press, but maybe I could do like just like a lathe cut. And then, so James messages me, kind of interested in owning this piece of music on vinyl. So, and then it hits me, okay, I'm going to send out an email, you know, and I'm only going to, I'm only going to request like five copies. I, I sent out this message and I kind of explained the situation. I only want to do five copies. And I thought, you know, what's the worst that could happen? She could say, hey, I'm super busy and I can't do it. And um, she is, she's super busy. You can watch her Instagram. She's constantly doing huge orders. And she said, yes, like I'll, I'll t I can totally do this. Um, you know, maybe I can squeeze it in at some point uh, later, you know, like in a, maybe two or three months, it seemed like it was gonna be, probably not until the spring. It was, you know, I kind of just thought like, it'll happen when it happens. And, um, and right now it's the end of January, last day of January, and she emailed me today and said, hey, I should have these in the mail by the end of the week. Isn't that crazy? So I'm kind of scrambling, because <laughs> I thought it was gonna be months away. I wanna do the cover myself, um, come up with something for the back cover. I can hand write everything, because that's kind of what I, I have been doing for the last several albums, because I, I just really don't like sifting through billions and billions of typefaces or fonts or whatever you call them these days. Um, so I, I prefer to just do my handwriting. Um, uh, she actually sent me like a link to uh, Duplication CA, which, or Duplication Canada, I don't know. Duplication.ca is the website. And I've gotten lots of tape stuff from them. And I've even gotten some CD stuff from them. And they're great, but 
I did find somebody that does jackets on Etsy for considerably cheaper and I only had to order, I could order like packs of three of them, which seems kind of crazy. Um, but so I figured I would go ahead and try them because they were like $50 cheaper. It was kind of nuts, like how much cheaper they were. I want to do an insert with all the lyrics printed out and, um, and like maybe also a drawing on the back of it. Actually, what I'm thinking is I will do a drawing maybe the acoustic guitar drawing and get that printed get a print made of that okay here we are i know this is a lot of stuff um and i'm just kind of spitballing ideas here yeah i don't know maybe i'll make a new collage type thing for the insert because if i'm gonna get it printed i might as well i can do what i want so yeah that might be interesting because i have all the pieces from the original artwork. Uh, some of them are pieced together, some of them are not. So I think maybe that might be interesting. I think we're gonna cut it off here for tonight and we'll come back because here comes Sylvia and I think it's time for bed. Okay, we're back. We're making the record. So I got word uh, last night, I believe, that, um, that the records have shipped. I have this afternoon off. Um, and so I'm gonna to start to work on this. And I decided I'd just go back to, um, I have everything in this box, this sort of folded, this is actually, I think, a record box. This is all the, the stuff that I pulled out to use in the Distortion Snow artwork originally. I feel like I haven't looked at this in forever. So it's kind of like almost a little memory box. Okay, wow, okay, so people got kind of bent up. I don't think I want these guys. It's sort of, it's always interesting to go back and be like, why did I cut this out this many years later? Like, why do I have this sheet of blue paper? So this is the actual cover. This is from the actual album artwork. making project I had two items get delivered over the weekend uh, that are pretty cool I got the blank vinyl jackets I will link it was an Etsy shop called uh, middle press um, and they make all sorts of vinyl or uh, blank media packaging like they have J cards and uh, compact disc thing and stuff and seven inches and 12 inches um, I got like a couple I got a few different varieties to try because I don't know what's gonna what's gonna work since I'm gonna be drawing directly on them with the pen it's well packaged packaging good job um, and I want to shout out the person that owns middle press they refunded me uh, part of the shipping because I bought a bunch of stuff together and it was like going to be really expensive shipping but they refunded part of the shipping so thank you middle press if you you probably won't ever see this but you know it was very nice okay so yeah this is going to work i think this is a nice card stock that it's been made out of i got three different kinds of white or no i'm sorry two different kinds of white 
I think it'll just depend on what feels good to draw with because I'm going to do like very simple sort of line drawings for the cover, which I can show in a minute what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, and then I got a few that are black that I thought I could do like white uh, Posca pen or maybe a white fine liner. It depends on whether or not it would show up. Um, but either way, I think it'll be cool. Um, yeah, I think it's going to work. So that's good. Thank you, Middle Press. Not sponsored, but thank you so much. All right, so you can have this, you know, you can have this as a little print if you want. Um, a little poster, but it'll work on the back. Oh, that's a dented. Are all of them dented? Uh, I wonder if, I'll have to reach out to them and see if they'll replace these, because that stinks. Looks like right here, something got it. Yeah, they did not listen to uh, Do Not Bend photos enclosed. I have this already done, and um, like I had it sketched out um, for whenever I did CDs. Um, so I can, I can just maybe try to um, upscale this uh, and then print it off and use it as like kind of a stencil or something, um, or as a guide to do a similar type of drawing on the cover. Like something like this, or even, I was thinking more something simpler like that, but I think something like this, it's pretty similar. I think doing that sort of thing for the cover is, um, is cool. And it's doable uh, to do it, to do it five times. Hey, you're over here now. Um, so yeah. Okay. All right. So tomorrow I will, tomorrow I will email Mpix. That's who I got the, uh, print from and we'll see what they say. And then, um, uh, tomorrow I think I'll also knock out the covers, kind of fix that up and and get going with that. Um, yeah, the records are supposed to be here on Thursday. So right now it's it's a Sunday night. Got to clean up my mess that I just made. And, uh, um, and then we'll start piecing this thing together this week. You are my best friend. And then I forgot your name. Okay, okay. Quick update. I reached out to uh, MPix and they... They are going to replace the the print. Um, they were it was a very quick response and they were very apologetic and so that was awesome. So hopefully that'll be a few days. But um, I don't know. Somehow it's only Monday, right? And um, and I was supposed to get the vinyl on Thursday. I think is what it was saying. What sort of was tracking? But here it is. It's arrived, so we're gonna open this up and take a look. This is pretty cool. Oh, she gave me some stickers. That's cool. I don't know, this is a cool feeling. Wow, okay. I know it's not like a big pressing or anything, but it's still, still is cool. Wow, it's like really, really thick. It's neat. Um, yeah, I didn't have anything special done for the, I was just trying to keep the cost as down as possible. It's so neat.
Okay, here we go. Um, I got a lot done tonight. Um, I think I got a total of four. The, the black one was a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, I used this, what is it called? A, a, it's a Uniball Signo uh, white, I think some sort of gel pen. Um, it worked good overall. I think the lines were good. Um, it was just like whenever I tried to do anything, it was a little more detailed, like the, these people, uh, him, I got pretty lucky on, but, um, yeah, even like writing the, on the spine was pretty difficult to get it to look okay. So what I did was I kind of blew up my, uh, little sketch that I had on the iPad and, um, made it to where it would... Uh, I had to kind of piece it together and print it off in sections. And then I just uh, went on it, went over it with pencil, and then just transferred the image over. So it made it a lot quicker <laughs> to do. And so, yeah, tonight I got three, right, three of the white covers done. They turned out pretty good, I think. So I'm pretty pleased with those. And then my sister calls to talk about the past. we've reached the conclusion of this video uh, I have five records um, ready to go um, I'm pretty pleased overall how they how they've turned out I think the hardest part for me was actually piecing together uh, the jacket was like kind of kind of crazy I couldn't believe how how much a pain in the butt it was. Um, I believe, and I'm gonna leave links to everything in the in the uh, description. 
middle press, uh, whatever whatever they're doing is great. They, they have the option to pay extra to have these things pieced together, and I now understand why there's an extra charge for it because it's kind of like labor-intensive, I felt like. Um, and I only had to do five. And, yeah, so they're done. And I think that they turned out good. Yeah, so, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take you through it one, one more time here. So I put, I put a little painted blonde stamp just because I have it. And the record, the record is here. Um, I just had Robin at Red Spade just mark that it was side A. And the, the prints turned out pretty good, I think. They really packaged them well the second time. For the liner notes, I kept it really simple. I was wanting to print the lyrics, but I, when, it, when I sort of started looking it over, I didn't know if I would have enough space to actually handwrite them. Just writing the song titles and uh, kind of the dates that, um, that things came out and just giving some credit to uh, uh, Robin at Red Spade. That just seemed like enough information um yeah so that's it this is it if if you all have any questions um let me know in the comments below feel free to dm me on the instagram if you want to if you need to talk to me there um yeah once again um i'd like to shout out james for kind of getting this project going uh I'm, i'm 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 happy that i finally have something on vinyl that's cool i think i think it's you know it's like one of the things that's always been on the bucket list so yeah thanks james for sort of getting this going um and uh thanks to robin for making these records and again hit me up if you have any questions um i'm sorry if i don't know what I'm talking about in most of this video, but this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And uh, so I'm, I'm happy to, to have been learning on film as I was going. And uh, yeah, it was a cool process. And <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to say. I just gotta, I, I have to go to bed. It's, 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 it's bedtime. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. Good night. Don't forget about the notifications. Don't forget about the notifications. Camille screamed off with <laughs>